It's the 2K Sports Pregame Show. Welcome to 2K Sports, everybody. I'm Ernie Johnson, sitting alongside the big diesel, Shaquille O'Neal, and the prop plane, Kenny Smith. And in our matchup tonight, we'll see the New York Knicks going up against the Los Angeles Lakers. Last game for the Lakers, they ended up with a loss to the Thunder in Oklahoma City. They got caught flat-footed, lost a game they felt should have been theirs. Looking to turn the page here. One of the players we'll see tonight, Brandon Ingram, second overall pick in 16, has drawn some comparisons to Kevin Durant, but Kenny, he's still got a ways to go. Yeah, we know it could take a while, but he's, he's going in the right direction. I mean, he's a little undersized in terms of uh, weight, but... His ability. It's an interesting way to put it. Yeah, he's yeah. skinny. Okay. He's a little skinny. Thank you, Ernie. Uh, his, his shooting efficiency is a work in progress, but he has the length to impact all areas of the game. That'll wrap it up as we take you courtside. Thanks for like, joining us, everybody. I don't like the word skinny. Slender. There he is. It's home to Tinseltown and the Lakers, Los Angeles, California, as we bring you an interconference rivalry here at the Staples Center. And get ready for another dose of NBA basketball on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony and Brent Berry. From the sideline, we'll have David Aldridge. We'll be hearing from him in just a moment. The next swing into this game is part of their continuing road trip. Things have really gone south on them. Over the course of the last seven games, they've gone one and six. Yeah, and guys, it's difficult with the job that's ahead of them. Anytime a team gets into a funk like the one they're in, getting out of it is really difficult. They, they seem to be a little bit scattered to me here of late, and I like to see them just come up with a definite plan and, and, and stick to that script. And as things get ready to roll, let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's on the sideline. David? Well, guys, we know how much of a trailblazer LeBron James has been. He's taken charge of his own free agency to ensure that he is almost always on a contender. He has made it clear he has no interest in being around mediocrity. Kevin? You're right, D.A. He wants rings and nothing less. When the super teams are dominant game after game, some people are going to ask, what's the point of even playing a game like this? Well, in the regular season, I hear that all the time, and I just I sort of laugh at it because this is what the season is about. 82-game sure. grind, having competition not only with opponents, but within yourself, within your team, battling for minutes. And we understand that a lot of these teams are, are built to win in the postseason. The regular season doesn't mean much for them. They're going to qualify for the playoffs, but... There are other teams in this league, Kevin, trying to fight to improve. And on nights where you have opportunities to play against that kind of dominant team, a coach can say, see the potential, see what is possible. We just saw it here tonight. And take some personal pride in your performance. No doubt about it. And you can stack yourself up against these super teams that roll into your arena to find out exactly where you are. And sometimes winning a game like that for a coaching staff, they can say, let's use this momentum to build on it. We just beat one of the better teams in the league. So psychologically, it works in a lot of ways during a regular season. All right, let's set the floor. Courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. On the court for the Knicks, they've got Dennis Smith. Robinson is out there with Von. And it's Matthews, and it's Knox in at the three slot. Last season, LeBron James becoming just the seventh player ever to score 30,000 points in a career. Well, he's like a rare stake, Kevin. Obviously, he's not done. Might have the best shot of catching Kareem when it's all said and done in terms of total points scored in the league. Maybe approach 40,000, but ultimately, he's definitely in the top three. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he makes the first. Well, just look at the list of career accomplishments by LBJ. To me, the best small forward that's ever played this game and on the short list of the best player to ever lace him up.
And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Brent, with LeBron being one of the all-time greats, he is certainly the greatest player of this generation, wouldn't you say? Uh, absolutely. Ever since he came into the league, I mean, there's just been, in my opinion, no missteps whatsoever. Has handled himself on the floor with uh, an incredible determination to prove that, Kevin. All the hype, all the anticipation, uh, he's lived up to it about tenfold. Here's Hart. Smith outside. Here's Von Lay. Pass to Knox. New York moving the ball around. Now here's Matthews. He's tightly guarded, and he gets it to go. And we're about a minute and a half into the first quarter. Right wing. The pass to James. to Hart. Passes it to Kuzma. Down to five on the shot clock. And again, no good by the Lakers. Yeah, they're a little bit cold here. 0 for 4 to get this one going. The kick out to Matthews. Pass to Vonley. Robinson against McGee. Smith outside. No luck that time on the shot that would have put them on top. Really just struggling here in the first few minutes. Five attempts with only one falling. LeBron not messing around. That time in the paint, close to the rim, smelling blood. Now here is Smith. 23 points for him the last game against the Nuggets in Denver. Pass to Bonley. Matthews left side. And there's the foul. It'll go on Josh Hart. That's his first foul. Stolen by McGee. Lakers have gone just one for five from the field to start the quarter. James looking around. To the right side. Hits it from three-point range. Hart's got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. Now the pass to Knox. The dish to Vonley. And the dunk by Vonley. Not an explosive leaper. Vonley does have the length to get to the rim, and you just love to see that aggressiveness there. Ball kicks to Hart. Down low, here's LeBron. Up and in, off to an efficient start. Two for three from the field. And, and where's the help? Obviously, a missed rotation. Something they're going to want to patch up. Well, you have to be able to trust each other on the defensive end of the floor. Otherwise, the whole thing is just going to crumble. Now, here's Matthews. Nine points, last game out. Shot clock at six. It's three on three on the fast break. A three ball, and another three for the Lakers. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. Smith kicks to Robinson. Here's Knox. He's covered by ball. Knox misses. And here's Los Angeles. They're on a 12-4 run. Robinson with the block, and he gets it back. Ball with it. Now Smith defending. Another shot, and the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And here are the numbers for LeBron James. He's been dominant over the last month. He's averaging 30 points, five assists, and five rebounds. And just look at those scoring totals. He's been doing what he does best, putting points on the board. His instincts shoot, naturally shoot. are to score the basketball. That ability to find the creases in the defense is something you just don't teach, and it's awesome. That one is off. Well, every night, the competitive killer instinct of LeBron James makes him as elite as he's been. Of course, a future first ballot Hall of Famer and a lot of gas, it seems, left in the tank for LeBron James.
Good on the second free throw. Smith with it. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Greg, as we get closer to the halfway point of the season, it's clear just how impactful LeBron James has been on this roster. It is night and day from the Lakers of last year to this year. This is just how much adding a player like LeBron can change your team. He, he just does so much and opens up so many options for everyone else on the roster. Knox, the pass to Smith. Outside Matthews. Poked away. Just five to shoot. Fires for three. And it's Smith missing. That's a look you cannot pass up. It's also one you should miss. Hart kicks the ball. Hart the pass to James. Lakers working the ball around now. The lead pushed to double digits. Aggressive coming out of the gate here, guys. Wow. And already the lead is significant. Excellent play on both ends. And the Knicks decide to take their first time out here. They're moving on after the tough loss they took at the hands of the Nuggets. And on an ordinary night, guys, I think they would have come out on top. That's just how well they played. But they happened to catch an opposing team at the very top of their game. Yeah, both teams gave a very strong performance. I think that was a prime example of the home court advantage being just that, an advantage. Now, here is Smith. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Here's Matthews. Smith trying to break loose, and Matthews gets it to go. Here's Los Angeles now. They're on a 15-6 run. Ball dishes to LeBron. Hart, no good. That's a surprise. I mean, really out of character for him to miss when the defense is not right up on it. Knox, the pass to Smith. Drilled from 11 feet out. Smith's got his first basket. And, and whether he's stepping back or spotting up, Smith Jr. is a threat to score, especially from the mid-range. Here's Hart. He's covered by Matthews. That one drops for him. James has got his third basket of the night. Shots are just flowing for him right now, having a really strong quarter. Smith finds Robinson. Paul with a wide open look. Good, and the assist goes to James. James has got three assists in the game. Knicks trail by 12. Out to the wing. Here's Knox. James covering. Knox misses. For Los Angeles, they've gone 7 of 13, just over 50% from the floor. Some good looks. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. Matthews scanning the floor. And the Knicks miss again. And that's a rare sight. Usually shooters make the defense pay when they're that lackadaisical. Here's James. Pass the ball. Second chance shot. Almost, but it rolls out. And so it's Matthews with it, bringing it up now for New York. Down by 12. And this matchup with the Lakers, it's their first meeting of the season. Yeah, faced off twice last season, and it was a split between the two teams. Yeah, they matched up very evenly, and that's not a compliment to either side. Last season was a struggle for both squads, and now they're each looking to turn the corner. To the inside, McGee. That one doesn't go. Some solid defense from Robinson. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Here's Knox. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. You look at the New York Knicks, desperate to compete again and get themselves back into the playoffs. Remember, 1973, their last championship year with the likes of Willis Reed, Walt Frazier, Earl the Pearl Monroe. They could, maybe they could use a couple of those guys now. And he can't get the first one. 
And since 1973, only two finals appearances for the New York Knicks. Yep, 1994, they lost to the Rockets in seven games. And in 99, that was the lockout shortened season. They lost to the Spurs eventually on their home court in five games. No finals appearances for the New York Knicks in the new millennium. He hits the second from the line. Los Angeles leading by 11. Beasley with it. Now Thomas defending. Beasley kicks to Ingram. Drops in the layup for two. Ingram's got his first basket of the night. And from the opening tip, they just crushed it. You, you see it now on the scoreboard. Just incredible flow offensively. Everyone's doing their part. Let's see if they can sustain this early momentum. Time call here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. Brent, we've got great dunkers now. But you played at a time when there were sensational dunkers in the NBA. Yeah, I saw a lot of guys go over including the top of Including yourself, uh, including yourself. Too kind. Here's the money. Um, Kevin, I, I think about those old... And we remember these, the old VHS tapes where you used to get, like, the dunk highlight tapes. Those are still Sean Kemp oh, so fresh in my Dr. mind. Dr. J. Dominique Wilkins Dominique over the Wilkins, top. Yeah. MJ over oh, everybody. Uh, uh, young Vince Carter. Kenny Skywalker. I mean, yes. just the, the list goes on oh. and on. But the best in-game dunker, I think it's pretty unanimous that, that Vince Carter still, still holds the title. Here's Ingram. The Knicks making the shot. No good from 11 feet. Just doing the job on the backboard. Trier passes to Burke. It's deflected. In addition to being superb on offense, Ingram is also a ridiculously good defender. His long reach really allowing him to collect a good number of block shots. They are just killing him on the interior. And now here's his Hizonia. No points in the game yet for him. Ingram against Thomas. Six on the shot clock. Here's Burke. And it's Ingram with the rebound. And usually that mid-range jumper finds the bottom of the net. The defense has to be more aggressive moving forward. Here's Rondo. And no good that time. Great D that time from Thomas. And here is his Onya. He's coming off a 13-point game against Denver. Cross contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. And he's got more height than you typically see at the off-guard position, and that size comes in handy, as we saw on that play. First trip to the free-throw line for him tonight. That's good from Hazania. You look at the Knicks free agent signings, Brent, haven't been so great over the past few seasons. Yeah, a lot of that's been due to, to major injuries. When you sign veteran guys and you're in a situation where you're, you're hoping to win now or get to the playoffs, there's a risk that comes with that. So a cap management for the Knicks, it's been a tricky game and, and one they've come up on the short end on. Man, they are doing some damage from deep. It is brutal to try and match up on the perimeter with a team that is this hot. Now, here's Burke. His last outing, he had eight points. And it's out of bounds to New York. They'll retain possession. There's 126 left in the first. Lasagna, the pass to Trier. Five on the clock. Here's Burke. And the defense not making things easy for them. No good from 11 feet. Here's Rondo. That one's in his first bucket of the game. He's one for two. Rondo's such a great ball handler, such great ball control. Even though he's a little bit older, he can still surprise you with what he sees out there. Rondo with the steal. To the middle. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And Caldwell Pope, the Georgia product, when he's on the floor, it's for his defense. Can give you a handful of points, but what he takes away with defense is far more significant. 
one of the better perimeter defenders since entering the league. Shooting two. And the first one drops. Yeah, much improved foul shooter. KCP also starting to get to the line at a higher rate. Robinson's checked in for Knox. That one misses. Knicks trail by 16. Here's Azania. And a kind roll that time off the rim as that one falls. Azania's got five. Los Angeles has gone four of five from three point land to get things going here in the first. Zubat kicks to Ingram. The Lakers have made four free throws from the line and missed two. And, and 75% on the season as a unit from the free throw line. Shooting two. The first one falls. And Ingram, the, the former Blue Devil, an extraordinary player who only promises to get better. The Knicks making a switch here. Moutier is checked in. And so he hits both. You, know, you, you just have to be more disciplined. I mean, too many fouls and free throw attempts for the opponent. Two second difference between shot clock and game clock. Now Hizonia. He's got five. Six to shoot. Some solid defense from Ingram. And as we conclude the first quarter, a one-sided game so far. Lakers ahead, up by 16. And we'll get things started in the second quarter when we return. LeBron James is the all-time leader in playoff field goals made, and he had this to say about his ability to nail clutch shots. I always feel like I got it. I always feel like I got it in the clutch, no matter what's going on throughout the course of a game, uh, even when you're struggling at times or you're not shooting the ball particularly well, I just feel like it's going in. And you know, Greg, that's the type of confidence you got to have. Uh, the words of a leader. James has proven time and time again that he's dangerous in late game situations. And glad to have you with us, folks. Second quarter of basketball. This game has not exactly been neck and neck, but plenty of time left in this one. And guys, the Lakers are pretty much in control here. They're just not sitting back. They are going for steals, and their activity has been terrific. Yeah, so that disruption is helping out because it's leading to some easy chances on the other end. Here are the five New York has to start here in the second. They've got Thomas, Emmanuel Moutier out there with Trier. Then it's Robinson, and it's Hezonia in at the three, the small forward. And so it's Moutier with it. He'll bring it up for the Knicks. It's a 14-point game. Hezonia kicks to Moutier. Outside, Robinson. Pass to Trier. And that's good. Robinson picking up the assist. That's the kind of D that you're not going to find success with, guys. They've got to get a hand in the face. It's Ingram on the wing. Wants to get it to Rondo and does. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. 
The league no longer wants to reward offensive players who throw themselves into defenders. Have you seen a big change in how those players, Brent, are being called? I think Take the league's break. doing a better a job break. of it, trying to examine when it is. Seems that, that way, you're right. Somebody gets up in the air and the offensive player leans in or kicks out and tries to draw some kind of contact. So it's been up to the referees. They've been diligent with it. I think they'll just get better with time. And that one falls for Rondo. Yeah, when Rondo gets motivated, and we've seen that now for a good stretch, he's as valuable as it gets. Lance Stevenson's checked in for Los Angeles. He hits one, then misses the second attempt from the free throw line. From the arc. Rebounded by the Lakers. At one point, they led by 16. Here's Rondo, and he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. And Rondo playing with great energy right now, putting the defense in some very difficult spots. The Lakers have made seven free throws and missed three in this game. Taking two shots. Now, gentlemen, two shots. Loose shot. That free throw missing. And that trip coming up empty, missing both. And that free throw percentage has dropped to under 60 now, having a horrible time from the line in this quarter. Zero defense. You can't let a good shooter have the wide open three. Kicks it to Ingram. Good that time. The Knicks go the other way with it. Moutier with the ball. And looking at his production, he averages a little more than seven points a game. Takes the 13-footer. Robinson misses. Like the tactics on defense there. Refusing to give the shooter the easy layup at the rim. Ingram dishes to Rondo. Stevenson outside. He kicks it to Ingram. That one's all good. Now he's three for five from the field. Kind of see Ingram get going down low. Just another dimension of his game that he continues to develop. New York calls timeout. And as the coaches go to the clipboard to outline their strategy during the timeout, the players getting a chance to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's key to staying fresh all the way to the final whistle. And, Kevin, it really is. And every one of these players knows it. They're all making sure to stay hydrated. It's impossible to play your A game if you're not getting enough to drink, especially uh, towards the end of games when the physical toll of a long contest really starts to add up. JaVale McGee's checked in for Los Angeles. Rondo finds Beasley. Inside. Here's Ingram, and he makes good on the layup. Ingram's got 11. Now he's a heady player. He knows how to get himself going and giving his team a real advantage right now on the offensive end. Now here's Moutier. He's covered by Rondo. Pass to Trier. Let's a floater go. Stevenson outside. Ingram right side. Rondo kicks to Ingram. Robinson pulls it in. Robinson's got six rebounds here tonight. Shoots from the elbow. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. 
At one point, they led by 16. They come into this one following a loss to the Thunder. I mean, frustrating when missed free throws become contagious. Really the Achilles heel in that one. Yeah, you try to put up these scoring runs, and it hurts when you all of a sudden just give away free points from the free throw line. Now, here's Moutier. Rajon Rondo missing his last shot. Robinson kicks to Thomas. The pass to Trier. Knocks down the three ball. Trier's got it back down to single digits for New York. And defensively, you've got to make a greater effort working over the screens. Yeah, it's a bit of a lazy play right there. You're hoping that the guy misses the shot without really doing your job in challenging it. Now here's Ingram. Stevenson inside the three-point line. Busts the J after the KG pass fake. And the Lakers lead by nine. Now here's Moutier. He's covered by Rondo. Passes it to Hazania. And the officials signal the backcourt violation. Not very careful there. Let's now pause to take a look at the scoring breakdown between the front and backcourt of tonight's contests for New York. And it's been guard play, which really has shouldered the burden offensively here. They'd like a bit more production from the front court, but in the meantime, this backcourt has kept them in the game. Now, here's Stevenson. He's coming off a 10-point game against Oklahoma City. No good from Beasley. Knicks trail by nine. And the intangibles of Lance Thomas, he's really pretty much an effort guy and uh, team first with his attitude. He has been the team captain before, and some of the younger guys can learn a lot from the approach that Lance Thomas brings on a daily basis. Looking at who's out there now for the Lakers. LeBron, he's checked in for Beasley. Josh Hart comes in for Ingram. And it's Lonzo Ball in for Rajon Rondo. And then for New York, Noah Vonley, he's checked in for Lance Thomas. Matthews comes in for his onion. And it's Dennis Smith in for Trier. And yeah, you know, you like the effect Lance Thomas has on your team. Not just a leader, Brent, but a vocal leader. Oh, yeah, you'll see him out there pointing and directing guys, getting them in the right spots. And he pretty much knows every play. He's in practice doing the work early. And, and I like that he holds everybody accountable, especially for a young team still trying to find their true north. Knicks trail by 11. To the inside, Onlay kicks to Moutier. Pass to Robinson. New York, no good that time either. To the paint, stolen by Robinson. Smith outside. Here's Matthews. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Bowles got his fifth rebound in this one. The feed to LeBron. And the foul on Dennis Smith Jr. That is his first foul of the game. And the Lakers making a change here. Kuzma's checked in. Knox, he's checked in for New York. Trey Burke comes in for Moutier. Here's Kuzma. That's in, and he found his range with that one. Now one for two. And I like that they're not settling. Getting the ball on the interior. Eight of their last ten coming that way. Knocks the pass to Matthews. Here's Knox, guarded by McGee. Let's look here at the numbers for Bonley. He's been more than solid over the last month, averaging nine points per game, eight rebounds, and two assists. And he's been a rock in the middle for them over that stretch of games. Dominating the glass is his trademark. I feel like those rebounds are wearing down and eroding the opponent, his effort right now, physically and mentally, has been good. That one is off. Do you see a lot of player tampering right now in the NBA? Well, how do you define it, Kevin? Well, if a player wants to go out and recruit other players that may be under contract with another team. I see that a lot then, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it happens all the time. Uh, players talking about what are you thinking about doing and about, wow, don't you think this would be great if we could get together on the floor and 
2021. Let's try to. But set management that up. doing it management, is a completely different animal. Management yeah. cannot do it. Although some teams have walked that tightrope mm -hmm. a little, a, a little bit to the point where they've fallen off in recent years. But the idea of players not ever talking to one another about the potential of being together. Come on, right? It's always happening. Just a little lackluster so far with his effort. He's been very limited due to his poor shooting. Uh, I mean, even from over here, you can see that one pretty clearly. The Lakers have made seven of the last 12 attempts at the line. Taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. He's off on the first. He hits the second from the line. And so it's New York with it, trailing by 13. When this game is finished. They'll be off to Portland taking on the Trailblazers. And that will be the fifth game of the six-game road trip. Right wing. Here's the floater. And the layup is up and in. And a terrific use of the floater. Unguardable, really, because you can't do anything defensively to stop it. Los Angeles leading by 11. Park kicks to James from downtown and Kuzma with the basket on the assist by LeBron Kuzma's got five now and good passing setting up a lot of these buckets right now Kevin that's been the key Smith for three the shot falls for only his second bucket two for nine a little tit for tat action going on on the back to back trades. Yeah, a little gamesmanship from range could force both defenses to maybe extend out a little further. And again, Los Angeles with the triple. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Now here's Matthews. Looking at his point production, he averages almost 11 points a game. And it's JaVale McGee with the foul. That'll be his second foul of the game. Another foul would give him three before the half. Something to keep an eye on, guys. Contavious Caldwell Pope. He's checked in for Josh Hart. And here are the Knicks now. It's a 14-point game. Shot clock at six. Here's Knox. Rebound the Lakers. McGee's got six rebounds here tonight. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. Yeah, not many are finishing better than LeBron James around the rim. Too strong and too good. Burke finds Smith. Goes up at the stripe. Hits some rim on the way in, and the bucket's good. He has seven. Working on his interior game, Smith Jr. is very aware he has what it takes to score from there. Back to James. And this is his third trip to the line tonight. LeBron James at the one for two. Now, gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. The first free throw is good. And he just seemed to have a little more fire in the first quarter than he has in this one. And it showed in all the trips he made to the free throw line. Those have dried up. And both free throws good for LeBron. And it's Burke with the ball for the Knicks. They trail by 16. Knox misses. 
to the middle. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. It's going to go on Trey Burke. He's got to be careful once LeBron breaks the seal of the free throw line. There's a lot of power and a lot of muscle coming at you. Usually it ends up with free throws. Two shots. Free throw good, LeBron. And both free throws good for LeBron. Knicks trail by 18. Burke kicks to Smith. Five to shoot. And stolen by Kuzma. Here's Caldwell Pope. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. What vision by LeBron, always willing to give up the ball. They're just hitting a wide open teammate. Smith on the wing. Seven points in the game. Kicks to Vonley. Over Caldwell Pope. Vonley's shot is good. I like the versatility of Vonley. Still getting his feet wet and building some confidence, but he can already score in a number of ways. Caldwell Pope against Smith. James dishes to Caldwell Pope. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. Here's a look at what's coming up for New York. On Monday, they'll go up against C.J. McCollum and the Portland Trailblazers. And then on Tuesday, they'll be matching up against Kevin Durant and the Golden State Warriors. And that matchup against the Sixers, they'll need to be at their best for this contest. Anything short of excellence, and they'll be in for a rough ride. First one falls for him. And he can't hit the second. Knicks trail by 19. That's a two from Matthews. Will not go. This is off the front iron. Well, he's gotten shots up, but they're not finding the rim. The squad's suffering because of it right now. A bit out of rhythm. And that one, good. Kuzma's got 10 points in the game. And each bucket at this point feels like a backbreaker. Well, to win at this level consistently, you cannot be faint of heart, and he's going in for the kill. Smith kicks to Vonley. Back to Smith. And it's Contavious Caldwell Pope with the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Ingram, he's checked in for Los Angeles. And the Knicks making a change here as well. Hezania, he's checked in for Smith. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. Burke with the bounce pass. Just five on the clock. That's tipped, and he's able to get it back. Now here's Ingram. That falls. Nice feed that time from Ball. Ball's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. And through the first half, a pretty lopsided affair. Lakers on top, just dominating this one. And we'll be back for the second half following the break. Keep it right here on 2K Sports. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hi again, everyone. I'm Ernie Johnson sitting alongside the Diesel and the Jet. Welcome to the Halftime Show on 2K Sports. 
LeBron James putting in some incredible work. He ended up with 17 points, six assists, and one steal. And let's get your thoughts, Kenny, on the Lakers. Come on, Ernie. What can you say about LeBron that hasn't already been said? The first half is just a microcosm of his old career. Everything he does on the basketball court, he shoots, he passes, he defends. It's getting boring. I'm tired of talking about him. And Shaq, what are your thoughts on New York? Well, they struggle in a number of areas. Protecting the rim is really at the top of the list. They haven't made that a priority. They haven't put forth a whole lot of effort. You got to protect the rim. Thanks for joining us, folks. We're now just a few minutes away from the start of the third quarter. And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. What can you say, LeBron James? What an impressive effort today. And let's see what the defense counters with to try and control him here in the second half. Well, he has been dominant as, as we expected coming into this one. Skilled and relentless. And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. Inside, we've got Kuzma and McGee. Hart is out there with Lonzo Ball. And it's LeBron in at the small forward. That's who's in the game for the Lakers. Now here's Matthews. Shoots over Ball. Matthews, no good. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. Here's LeBron. And there's the whistle. Three-second violation. And as always, the mid part of the NBA season, quite a grueling part of the schedule. Right now, let's check out how the standings are shaping up in the East. Taking a look at Milwaukee, earning the first place position with a terrific record. And we've seen them perform splendidly pretty much all season long so far. And they're definitely the team to beat. And of course, the Knicks, they have a lot of ground to make up. And I think for the Knicks, nobody was calling on them to kind of set the world on fire. But, but even those modest expectations have yet to be realized. Yep, any glimmers of hope that may have been there early for them have all just disappeared at this point. It's looking more and more like a season that will not end well for this team. Here's James. Second half just getting started, about a minute played, and stolen by Vonley. And the powerful one-handed slam. The willing to work the ball to his open teammate, Smith Jr. This is what leaders do best. The Knicks shooting their sixth attempt at the charity stripe in the game. One shot. And here in the second half of play, we're just over a minute in. Ball kicks to Kuzma. LeBron up top. Pass the ball. Just five on the clock. And the pass to Kuzma. That falls. Nice feed that time from Ball. Ball's got five assists in the game. And the action on hold as it appears there's been an injury. Yep, he's definitely in a bad way out there right now. Tough to see. And boy, when you see someone hurting like this, it's always scary. Yeah, it reminds you of what's really important. Health number one. Everything else comes after that. Los Angeles making a switch here. Beasley's checked in. Smith outside. Outside Robinson. He kicks it to Vonley. Outside Matthews. 
off target from three-point range. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. Kuzma passes to James. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. How about LeBron's patience there? The defender biting on the pump fake. Hard to stay down. It's LeBron James. This will be his fifth trip to the free throw line. And what a performance he's put in at the free throw line. And the first one at the line is good. And James drills them both. Here's Smith. He has seven. Two minutes gone in this third quarter now. Outside Matthews to the wing on the left. Here's Knox. Kuzma pulls it in. Lakers leading by 22. Floats it up for James. Just looks so easy for LeBron James, a powerhouse who can score from anywhere. And so it's Smith with it. He'll bring it up for the New York Knicks. Outside Robinson. He dishes it to Smith. Five on the clock. Passes it to Knox. And here's Matthews for the three. No good on the shot. And it's the Lakers the other way. Well, they've been better than good on the glass today. And there is a glaring discrepancy between these two teams in that area. Here's Hart. Ball kicks to Kuzma. It's James atop the key. And that one comes up a bit short. I guess even he has to miss one of those once in a while. And he's good on the three ball. Knox has got 10. You know, you hear that A word all the time, aggressive, and sometimes just being that can turn your game around. He's been that in the second half, their go-to guy here. Now here's James. 21 points in the game. That's three of four here to start the half. New York time calls out, time timeout. Out. You look at James, what a contribution. And he's been taking it to the rack all game, and they haven't been able to contain him. They have to put up better fight on the inside. And some changes here for the Lakers. Lance Stevenson's checked in for LeBron. Ajan Rondo subbed in for ball. Just over three and a half minutes through the third quarter of play now. Monley lays it up off the glass. Six points for him. They're consistently finding ways to get the ball inside and taking full advantage. Stevenson against Thomas. From 15 feet away, they get the rebound. Here's Beasley. No good with the layup. Knicks trail by 21. Inside. Here's Moutier. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. What's interesting about Moutier is how cavernous the gap is uh, between the strengths and weaknesses that he has. On the plus side, he creates shots for himself, but how many of those shots is he actually going to make? Uh, the other part about his game, though, is his distribution is pretty solid. So if he plays in the pick and roll, he can find teammates. Now, gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. Another thing about Moutier, really good on-ball defender. That marks him. Well, a better defender when his man's in front of him 
and not as good at chasing guys through screens. He seems to either get bumped off route or try to take shortcuts that, that cost him. But offensively is where it is he needs to just be better at decision-making and, and get that jump shot to be more consistent. And still trying to find his footing in the league. Moutier must show improvement in his shooting moving forward. Now here's Stevenson. He's averaging around five and a half points a game. Clock at four. Here's Rondo. Knicks with the rebound. Robinson's got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. Hizonia kicks to Moutier. Back to Hizonia. Jacks up a three. Robinson finds Thomas. Here's Hizonia. That's in there. Thomas with the assist. Hazania's got 11 points. Well, if they're going to win this game, he's going to require just a little bit of help. Many of the shots he's taking are finding the hoop. Kuzma passes to Beasley. Robinson pulls it in. Robinson's got 11 rebounds in the game. Here's Hazania. 11 points in the game. Kuzma pulls it in. Kuzma's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Pass to Hart. Takes it into the teeth of the D and converts the layup. He's got nine. Knicks trail by 19. And there's the foul. It'll go on Josh Hart. That's foul number two for him. Ingram, he's checked in for Kyle Kuzma. Long range from the inbound. It's rebounded by Stevenson. Lakers leading by 19. Dishes at Durando. Ingram outside. Down to five on the shot clock. Beasley kicks to Ingram. Stevenson left side. Tries yet again. Again, Los Angeles. And here's Moutier. Pass to Trier. That's tipped and out of bounds as Los Angeles gains possession. Let's take a moment to see the squads that have been the most dominant on the glass this season. The Lakers, number one. They are tenacious when it comes to attacking the backboard. Physical, smart, and determined. No surprise to see them at the top of the rank. Now here's Rondo. He averages a bit over six points a game. Kicks it to Ingram. And Hart has it in the corner. And he banks in the layup. Hart's got four points in the quarter. They're doing a really good job of getting the ball inside and attacking the paint. That's an area they have completely dominated. Now here is Robinson. Here's Trier. Outside for Thomas. New York again turning it over. Looking now at some numbers for Rajon Rondo. How his last 10 games have gone. He's putting up six points a night, three assists, and two rebounds. And guys, no question, he's a guy with some talent. But, but honestly, even he'd like to see those numbers improve. From all the whispers that we've heard, he's been working hard on his game. It just has not showed up yet in the box score. Contavious Caldwell Pope, he's checked in for Los Angeles. Then for the Knicks, Lonley's checked in for Lance Thomas. And Trey Burke subbed in for Trier. Offside Rondo to the middle. And it's Beasley finishing it off. And it's been about that execution offensively. I mean, they have been superb. 
Yeah, they're just absolutely getting anything and everything that they want out there. They have not let up. Moutier kicks to Burke. Now, here's Von Lee. Not a lot of room. Back to Burke. Just five to shoot. Trying to end the drought. Tipped away. Los Angeles has gone six of eight on three-pointers in the game. An outstanding 75% mark. Here's Rondo. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. I'm sorry. That's poor defense down low again. It's been a mismatch thus far in the paint. And he hasn't cashed in on his chances at the line, only making one free throw. The Lakers making a switch here. Zubats has checked in. And the Knicks one making shot. a change one here shot. as well. Cornette's checked in. And Rondo, no good on that one. New York's gone a less than productive two of six from three-point land in the second half. Stolen by Stevenson. Here's Caldwell Pope. Good. And it's Rondo who picks up the assist. And it's six points for Contavious Caldwell Pope. The Knicks shooting a troubling 38% in the third. Not the finest work of this offense. Work kicks to Hazonia. And there's the pass to Vonley. Back to Hezonia. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And these are his second and third free throws tonight. And with his percentage at 87, he's done just about everything they could have asked when it comes to free throw shooting. Now, gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. And one of the problems in the first half, that shoddy work at the free throw line. They needed to fix that, and they've been much improved since the break. Now, here's Stevenson. Ingram up top. Caldwell Pope outside with the shot, and Ingram the bucket on the assist by Caldwell Pope. Ingram's got 15. Just increasing their advantage. And right now, they're in a zone on both ends. Love their strategy, and they've been able to execute on it, building a huge lead. For New York, they have shot 70% from the free throw line tonight. Seven for ten. Taking two shots. Shooting two. And he can't get the first one. And Los Angeles with some changes. LeBron comes in for Lance Stevenson. And Ball subbed in for Rajon Rondo. And he sinks the second. And here is Los Angeles now. Ball kicks to Caldwell Pope. James right side. And that one drops for him. LeBron's got eight points in the quarter. I mean, again, LeBron James has been doing this for so long, knocking down that mid-range jumper. Now here's Moutier. He's guarded by Caldwell Pope. And Vonley has it in the corner. Moutier dishes to Burke. Down to five on the shot clock. Over LeBron. 
That one off the back iron and out. L.A. has gone 6 of 8 on three-pointers in the game, an outstanding 75% mark to the inside. And slam dunk by Ingram. Yeah, liking the vision there from Caldwell Pope, looking to get his guys going when they're open. Now here's Burke. Defense is right there. Here's Cornette. And the Knicks miss again. The Lakers shooting the ball really well in this game, 58%. James misses. New York shooting just 33% in the second half so far. They need to look at more high-quality shots. Hazania, good for another field goal. Number five in the night, five for 10 shooting. 110 left in the third. The Lakers on offense. They're on an 18-5 run here. Poked away and stolen by Hezonia. And finished off by Hezonia. And showing a good nose for the ball there. Picks it clean, then he's off to the races. And a good decision on the move. Too often we see teams have this kind of opportunity and fail to convert. Ball finishes with power. Not just going for the layup. Solid at throwing it down deep inside. And now here's Hezonia. 17 points in the game. Stolen by Caldwell Pope. Here's Ball, and Ball slams it in. And that's the classic one-two punch right there. I mean, nice steal. And then how about the elevation, Kevin, on the finish? And, Greg, nothing spurs some quick offense like a great play defensively. Well, it fires up your teammates and the fans when you make plays like that out in the open court and explosive. And so here is New York after the basket by the Lakers. Hazania's shot is off. And here's Caldwell Pope. He brings it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. Now, here's Ball. Burke covering. Passes it to LeBron. Over his own young. Here's Zubats. Off target. And so it's LeBron James making things happen for Los Angeles. He's at the quarter century mark. 25 points for him in this game. As they have looked to him over and over to make things happen. And we'll be right back after this. And let's take this chance now to show you the State Farm assist of the game. And he sliced the D wide open with this feed. They had no chance to prevent that basket. That's what great passing will do for you right there, dissecting the defense with that play. And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works or if it's more of the same from the first three quarters. And on the floor for New York here in the fourth, we've got Matthews. Picks out there with Burke. And it's Cornett in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Dotson kicks to Matthews. Pass to Hicks. Here's Dotson. You look around the NBA, amazing players, global interest, franchise values are going through the roof. Do you feel like the league is entering a golden age if it's not already in a golden age? I think it is, Kevin, at least offensively. What we've seen over the last five years with the adoption of most of the teams of the three-point shot, it's been some of the greatest offensive basketball the league has ever seen. And this idea that the evolution of the game stopped when it is at number 23 retired is, is kind of silly. I love where the game is at. I love where it's going. And I'm excited to be here tonight to watch this action with you. Which number 23? We've got two pretty prominent number 23s in the history of this game. I was thinking the, 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 the one recent I played 23? against. Yeah, oh, that, that guy. 23. Yeah, that, that guy. guy. Yeah, yeah, that, that guy. guy. Yeah. We've gone about a minute and a half into the fourth quarter. Here's Burke. And it's out of bounds to the Knicks as New York retains possession. Dennis Smith, he's checked in for New York. Dennis. 
Los Angeles on D. Wesley Matthews on the wing. He's guarded by Caldwell Pope. Just four to shoot. Cornette off target with his three. LA's gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. Dotson with the rebound. Knicks have gone two of four from the field since we started the final quarter of play. Three-pointer on the way. It's good from long range. Dotson's got five points now in the quarter. Los Angeles has gone 7 of 11 from deep tonight, using the three-pointer to their advantage. Moment here now for an injury report. Let's check in with David Aldridge for an injury update on JaVale McGee. Hey, guys, I got an update from the head athletic trainer of the Lakers. After taking a look, he informed me that it doesn't look too bad. And if he misses a lot of games, it will obviously be a big blow to their chances of winning it all this year. Appreciate that, D.A. Well, it's never easy for a player to go through what he's experiencing, Greg, right now. But it, it is something that happens to almost every player. He's strong enough mentally to get through it. This we know. Yeah, sometimes off the court, you work harder than you do preparing for a regular game. He'll get himself ready to go. Look forward to when he gets back on the court. Here's Wagner following the score by Dennis Smith. Zubat kicks the ball. Wagner passes the ball. It's a nice passing here by Los Angeles. Knocks it loose, and it goes out of bounds. That one is off Smith. Lance Thomas, he's checked in for Wesley Matthews. From deep, tipped away, and out of bounds as the Knicks gain possession. So it's the Knicks now. So far in the fourth quarter, they've allowed just six points. Outside Thomas. Pass to Dodson. He kicks to Smith. And there's the pass to Hicks. Just five to shoot. And the call will be against Lonzo Ball. That is his first foul of the game. We love the sneakers these players wear. Now so many different styles. A lot of different signature shoes out there. I'm not really a, a sneaker head myself, Kevin. I didn't really fall down that rabbit hole. But I know some guys in the league, and we've seen photos of their closets oh at home, filled with hundreds, hundreds. Not hundreds. I've seen guys pushing thousands wow. of pairs of shoes. Now that is dedication. Worth a lot of money. No, oh, no doubt about it. And some of the guys, Kevin, don those specialty sneakers in big-time games. And the one guy that comes to mind for me is P.J. Tucker. Lots of play from P.J. Tucker about some of the things that he strapped on last year during the finals. Now Rondo following the three-point attempt by Dennis Smith. Here's Wagner. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Up by a bunch. He's still pushing the action, trying to impose his will. Well, collectively, they've done it tonight here. A passionate performance from the squad. Now, here is Smith. New York, no good that time either. Yeah, and something we always talk about, though, shot selection. Well, being aggressive is one thing, but aggression with control is another. And you need both elements working together. Stevenson passes to Wagner. Makai Luke. No good on the three. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. That's tipped. Did you ever think, Brent, that we'd see this many players, 6'10", 6'11", 7 footers, handling the ball and, and shooting like we're seeing them shoot from that kind of distance? I'm hopeful for it. I've been hopeful for it. And it doesn't surprise me about what the league is. This is a very select group of people that have the right combination of DNA and genetics. And the fact that these guys are more and more capable with their skill set, not a surprise to me, Kevin. So fun to watch, too. My goodness. Trier, he's checked in for New York. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot.
Free throw good, Thomas. What you got to like about Lance Thomas is that he's worked as hard for his career as anyone in the league after going undrafted. Out left of the wing. And the three off target. And it's Smith with the ball. He brings it up for the Knicks. They've given up just eight points in the fourth quarter. Here's Cornette. Smith outside. Got it. Good job in the low post. Yeah, I tell you what, Smith has one of the best first steps I've seen in a long time. This guy is outstanding in terms of how he explodes. Now here's Rondo. Makai Luke. And he uses the glass on the layup. And giving up some height, he just finds a way to carve out a little separation. This is sort of the joust of the NBA where the aggressive player, more often than not, wins out. Here's Trier. Yes, and it's Smith with the assist that time. And until someone stops him, he's just going to continue to keep firing from distance. Yeah, we got to be a DEFCON 1 here because at this point, he is so dialed in, you got to get him off his spots. Wagner can't hit. The Knicks have gotten more than 58% of their attempts to go down for them in the fourth quarter. They're 7 of 12. Here's Trier. Passes it to Cornette. And the Knicks hit again from deep. Lakers leading by 22. Los Angeles timeout. calls timeout. They are now showing NBA Sorry. games in virtual reality. You and I have actually seen some examples of that. Um, they can recreate almost any angle. Have you gotten a headset? I haven't gotten a headset, Kevin, but I have watched it. You and I have talked about it several times. Many it's times. A, it's an amazing experience, and it, it will only get better. But I really think about if I was a kid growing up in, in Germany or Italy, and I had an opportunity to pull on a pair of goggles and to watch the game's greatest players from a seat at half court or the cameras that they set up underneath the goal uh, at either end. What a fantastic way uh, to be enveloped by the NBA game. It's a cool view. It's a very cool yeah. view, and it's only going to get better. Yeah. And so it's the Lakers with it after New York gets the three. LeBron, left shot. Off the left rim and out. New York's gone three of five from beyond the arc since the final quarter's gotten underway. Hezonia finds Smith. Here's Knox. Pass to Robinson. Doesn't go that time. Great D that time from LeBron. To the inside. Ball makes it off the glass. Ball's got nine points here in the second half. There's just a feel that Ball plays with that, that really separates him from so many other players. He's superb at finding ways here to score in the paint. Lasagna's shot is off. I think the D is just fine with those kind of shot attempts coming from him there because he's not hitting anything right now. Ball kicks to Hart. A three-pointer off the mark. And I thought that was going to drop. It looked good from here. Smith wide open. He fires. New York no good that time either. Well, the D looks like they're laying off just a little bit. He made one three in the first half, but they're still daring him to shoot, and he can't make him pay for it. Yeah, and Ball, a transcendent talent, I think has a real skill for finding his teammates when they have those good looks at the rim. Here's Von Ley following the bucket by the Lakers. Here's Knox. Back to Vonley. From outside the arc, that's good. It's his seventh made basket in 14 tries. Defensively, they just look out of sync, not closing out on the threes in time. Robinson against LeBron. Ingram outside. Inside. Hart, that's good. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. New York's gotten eight shots off from three-point land and hit half of them. Bonley kicks to Smith. Here's Knox. 
Well, we know that Dr. James Naismith came up with the idea when he was teaching at the YMCA, but as far as skill development, Brent, some feel that maybe in the skill category that the USA has fallen behind a little bit. Do you agree? I, I think what the United States... Oh! oh! Ah, never get tired of LeBron James in the air doing wonderful things. And that was an Unleash Chaos replay, courtesy of Under Armour, wreaking havoc at the rim. Hazonia kicks to Smith. Rebound the Lakers. You can't miss those kind of looks. The defense seems to be a little nonplussed so far in this one, but he flat out missed it. And they double up James. Back to ball. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by James. Yeah, that's just not a good pass. I don't know what he's thinking there. A poor decision. Zubats is checked in for Kyle Kuzma. Then for the Knicks, Lance Thomas comes in for Noah Vonley. And it's Trier in for Hazania. And so here is New York. Smith kicks to Robinson. Here's Knox. He's covered by Ingram. Robinson passes to Thomas. Now Lance Thomas plays the game between the ears, so he caught his defender right there out of position. Shooting for New York. Lance Thomas. Taking two shots. Shooting two. And the first one drops. One thing I like about Adam Silver, he is always looking to break new ground, push the envelopes, and develop new areas of innovation. Well, always forward thinking. And, and of course, this league has always done that. Adam has found a, a new position in the league, having a, a chief innovation officer right. in place, somebody that's always examining not only how things are going in the league and maybe being adaptable to change, but examining what's going on worldwide. And you always see the way the league tinkers with and toys with Summer League and the way the G League competition sets up in order to try to find more ways to make the game more enjoyable or more accessible to the fan base. Well, this is a gravity game right now. Whatever he throws up must come down. He's having a great game. Here's Trier. Smith outside. Clock at six. 13 feet away. That's short off the rim. Well, they're really making a point of keeping the ball moving around. That's the key. The D can't focus on one player. And no matter what anybody tells you, that ball will always move quicker than the defender. And that's a rare sight. Usually shooters make the defense pay when they're that lackadaisical. Well, guys, this was never really a contest. Just a total obliteration, if you will. And you can safely say mission accomplished now for Los Angeles. You don't see this kind of a blowout often. But tonight, this is a quality win across the board to deliver out uh, this kind of punishment. They definitely never changed the approach. Uh, they just kept after it and showed they were clearly the better team in just about every single category. And so taking a look at their record, a nice milestone they'll be picking up tonight. 30 wins on the year now. And so they'll take the first game of the season series, a team they'll only see twice, they're certainly happy to start it off with a win. And we watched one guy all night long, guys. And, and looking at the stats just confirms what a dominant game he had. What a night tonight it was for LeBron. Just a really solid effort on the offensive end. He was getting any shot that he wanted. One shot. That free throw good from Thomas. They are enjoying the commanding lead. And it really gives them the opportunity to give their starters a rest. Always critical when you get ready for that home stretch. 
Now ball. And so it's the Lakers taking care of business here. And the outcome of this one was never in doubt. And boy, they really put in a supreme effort. Uh, it just felt like once they had that lead and it was comfortable, they were not going to relinquish it. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thank you, Kevin. LeBron, what is your sense of how the team is playing at the moment? We have a good thing going right now, and we want to try to keep it going. And uh, the best part about tonight's game was the defensive end. We defended, and we shared the ball, and that's a good ingredient to a win. It was working at both ends, LeBron. Thank you for your time. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Brett Berry, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thank you for watching the NBA, presented by 2K Sports. We'll see you later.